Tonight, more than 270 people are in the hospital here in North Carolina because of the coronavirus. And while federal experts say to get ready for more deaths, people are getting better from COVID-19 every day. CBS 17's Maggie Newland talked to a local man about his experience with the virus. Maggie. Angela, he says at times he wasn't sure he was going to make it, but as of today, he is out of isolation, and he wants to thank the doctors and nurses who helped save his life. Well, you always think it's never going to happen to you. Alfonso Terrazona says he first started feeling lightheaded after traveling to New York. Over the next couple of weeks, he had headaches and felt like he had a fever, though he didn't have a thermometer to say for sure. It wasn't until he was in the emergency room in Clayton with a sick family member that he asked a nurse to take his temperature. I had a fever of, let's say, close to 103, and I was shivering, and that's when they told me, well, they took uh, chest x-rays, and they came back with all the bad news about I had pneumonia real bad. He says he then learned he had COVID-19. I suffered. I had tears. My bones hurt. They feel like somebody was torturing me. Oh, my God. Or a boxer that went 12 rounds and uh, got beat to a pulp. He was moved to a hospital in Smithfield, kept on oxygen in isolation. There were times when I didn't know if I was going to make it. I was just preparing myself to say, think of what I could say to my family, what you want to leave as a last message. He is so grateful it didn't come to that. After several days in the hospital, he was able to go home. I thank God. I thank my family. He especially thanks everyone who works in the hospitals, from the infectious disease specialist to the cleaning crews to the nurse who first took his temperature. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. Dr. John Adams, who treated me at Smithfield, they made me feel that I wasn't alone. Although this virus is isolating everyone in some sense, Alfonso hopes it will also give people a new perspective. Be thankful for what you have and thank others. And God bless everybody. And he hopes to go back and thank the doctors in, and nurses in person as soon as he can. Reporting live, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.